Hey guys, what's up? And we are here vlogging in San Diego. We are here at this restaurant to go ahead and eat some, I believe it's Vietnamese food, but let me just tell you, it was so freaking good. Here's Baby Bear saying hello. For starters, I know that I'm not vlogging properly, but you guys, I'm literally just having a mini vacation. So I'm gonna go ahead and just talk over this vlog because honestly, it's weird. Using a mask and filming, it's just something else. I got the Thai tea, Babe got the taro milk tea, which both of them were really good. I also ended up getting some curry with some rice. It's so cute how they have a little heart. Babe got some duck noodle soup, which was just like, I don't know. Honestly, the curry was so freaking good, but it was hot. You saw that steam? That steam. He did not finish his food. I finished mine. It was fun. I don't And that was our night. Moving on to today in the morning, we ended up getting some bomb coffee. Just like a little flight sampler of what their best sellers are. And let me just say, I love coffee. Day two. Let me start off by saying I am new at vlogging outside, but honestly, this cafe, the Fay Cafe, it is so freaking good. I got their sample of their French toast, which was amazing. Babe got the omelet, which was freaking amazing. You guys, honestly, filming outside, it is a very scary thing, but we're done, and we're going to go ahead and take a walk just to bring down the food. I honestly really did like the cafe, the service was meh, but the food was excellent. That chef is excellent. Take your time. So Babe is on his way to get our room key because he locked us out. He left it inside. And that's a good thing because I had to go pee pee. And if I would not have said that I had to go pee pee, we would have never found out. I mean, things happen for a reason. We are here in one of the attractions of San Diego, which is called the Suspension Bridge, I guess. That. So we're about to approach it. Let's ah, they close at 6 a.m. Oh, beautiful. We're here early, so let's see. I'm good. This historical site is number 116 in San Diego, Bruce Street Suspension, suspension Foothill, 1912, City of San Diego. Let's see how fall, how big is it? Like how 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 fall is it? Just so I know, wobbles. wobbles. All right, let's go ahead. You go first. This is a wobble, wobble, wobble. Looks dirty to me. Wow, it would have been very pretty if it was more greenery, but you know, it's not that bad. I did not even record that. Oh my God, you guys, this is moving. Oh my God, this is moving. Oh my God, this is moving. Oh my God, this is moving. It's not that bad. To be honest, it's just like there's moments where you feel it. Philly has a nice view, nice view. But a little spider web. How do you pass through that and not feel it? We're both kind of not okay with heights. What? No, I'm walking right behind you, so we're making it even. We're not unevening it. <laughs> I guess it's just a little bridge here. Let's go. 
So we're here at Baboa Park, which is under constructions. I hope that's how you pronounce it. They have a few trails to walk through. This is their palm tree walkway. I'm not really sure if that's how you pronounce it or not. But, you know, it was just something small. They said it was a 15 minute walk, which was a total lie. It was more like a seven minute walk. Uh, unless you want to go up and down the little curves of the rocks, which actually they're just not real walkthroughs. It's kind of a dead end at the end of the day because they are doing construction, so you can't really finish your walk. Um, so there was a little bit limited things that we could do here, and we were just enjoying our time together. Oh, look at Trevor right there. Bye. Yes or no? Go for it. You can see. No. Wow. So Babe is such an adventurous person. He decided to go to walk on a place where all you see is rocks and freaking little trees around it. Let me just say it's a dead end. It looks like there's just spider webs everywhere. And that's something that we did notice in San Diego in the park that there was just thousands of freaking spiders everywhere, spider webs everywhere. It's just like a no. I don't do spider webs. I don't do spiders. I don't do spider webs. We don't. No. Oh, look. We don't explore. That looks like a nut. Look over there. See the rocks? No. That's dangerous. Fogging. We are here at the. What is it? Japanese Garden. I would say that definitely this is a place that you should go when you're exploring San Diego. This is the Japanese garden inside Baboa Park and it's $12 for admission which is perfectly fine. I think it's a good price. In LA they're like 30 to like 20 bucks so I think it's a decent price. So we went inside and I like the fact that in every station they had hand sanitizer so whatever you're grabbing you see hand sanitizer. This is like a cat museum. And honestly, they just had a lot of statues, a lot of different statues. Then they also had like a little place of a actual map of how this park goes, which is actually pretty freaking big. So for them to charge you only $12 for admission to explore all of this, it's just kind of like mind blowing. I love the fact that they're like little images of the house. It's just like miniature, you know, but definitely exploring a Japanese friendship garden. That's what it's called. It was actually a very nice experience. The only thing that I would definitely say is that there was a lot of spider webs. Again, everywhere we went in this park, there was a crap load of spider webs. They had a beautiful place right over here to take pictures. This is another cat. It is, you know, just some beautiful, I wouldn't say decor, it's just like a symbol. And, you know, it's just good to know history and, you know, just read about it. And here goes another ceremony. Now, right over here, they have some beautiful sand decoration, which to me, it's just very peaceful. It kind of reminds me of Bretman Rock when he bought it. And I don't know. It's, it's just it's just something really nice to see. All right, you guys. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy just a little preview of what the Japanese garden has. It has some beautiful views. Definitely, again, hand sanitizer on every freaking station, which is amazing. They are a little bit low on water, but you know, it's just, just very peaceful. They had a lot of beautiful butterflies, which honestly was just like my favorite thing. So enjoy this beautiful montage.
Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little montage of the Japanese garden here in San Diego. This is how we're going to end our day and we ended up going to the Garden of Vegan to just grab a smoothie, something light to consume throughout the day. Love you guys. See you guys in my next one.